Welcome to my Liberty course. So one of the things I figured I'd start doing is actually giving the students more of a breakdown of how our course is going to be. So things like expectations are really important. Uh, in the first week, you need to complete the course requirement checklist that's under week one or module one. Also, a few things before we proceed. Understand this is graduate level work. So we have to do everything in APA formatting. All work should also include support from literature, hence the include a citation from a peer reviewed journal or at least our textbook. Everything. You do a discussion post, you should reference literature. Literature so should, should, should support whatever we're doing and our ideas. Everything needs to be 12 point font times New Roman and where applicable, double spaced. Discussions. First of all, you have to have one main post and minimum two pure responses. In one of your posts, you need to include outside support, so include a citation. And because it is Liberty University, we need to express a biblical worldview, and we also need to have it supported by scripture. This is now being looked for and graded. Our discussions should take place every other week. I believe we have four or five discussions throughout the course. Check the course syllabus so that you know which weeks you have to do your discussion posts. Labs, answer all questions, all, answer all challenge questions. Go through the documentation and make sure you're doing the appropriate screenshots where requested. Also, in your general responses, because normally they should have between 8 and 15 questions to answer outside of the challenge questions, include a, at least one citation in your responses somewhere. Alright, next, projects and drafts. So, the project has a draft 1 and draft 2 for each project. Normally, people like to wait till week 4 to do their project drafts, even though the first project is due in week 4. So, I can't really give you feedback on your draft if you do not give it to me before week 4. So, with that said, if you want feedback on your projects, give them to me before they're due. So, before week four, give me your project. Before week eight, give me your second project. That way, I can give you critical feedback and you can correct the feedback before submitting it for your grade. Each project is five pages content-wise, regardless if you do more or not. Minimum five pages. That does not include things like your abstract, your title page, your reference page. Keep that in mind. When you organize your paper, the headers, levels 1, 2, and 3 are really important. So make sure when you write your paper, do the appropriate headers, the appropriate paragraph structure. Again, this is graduate level work, so a paragraph is not two sentences. A paragraph is minimum five to six sentences. Keep that in mind. Also, at the end of your project, summarize it. Do a conclusion. Make sure to end it well. Don't just stop writing. Lastly, on your paper, you will be required to do a diagram. Do not give me a screenshot. I don't care to see the icon on your desktop. If you're going to do a screen grab, make sure to grab only the diagram, not the buttons for the program you're using or anything like that. I will be doing a, an additional video for Project 1 and Project 2 so that we can discuss details a little further. Quizzes. First of all, make sure to answer all the questions. Very common, people forget to answer one of the questions, and then they get a zero, and then they complain. 
make sure to do all of the work. Graduate level course, you're an adult at this point, you should know how to respond to all questions. Also, all questions need to have support from the literature. Yes, I care about what your opinion is. However, your opinion needs to be supported by peer-reviewed knowledge or the existing body of knowledge. Hence, C includes support. Midterm. We do not have a final. We only have a midterm in our projects. So on the midterm, it is crucial for you to take your time, answer all of the appropriate essay questions, and again, make sure to include support. The first week, I'm a lot more lenient, so I don't mind giving you full credits, but after the first week, if you are not doing citations and including support, you will quickly get a reduced grade. And on your midterm, if you do not include support, or a citation per response, you'll be getting points deducted very heavily. Basic expectations are do the work, read the instructions. If you have a problem, reach out. If you need anything, I posted my cell phone number, reach out. Thank you. I look forward to seeing you in the course.